One. All right, here we go. We're talking about the best way to increase your income. I haven't done a live stream in a second, but I got a couple announcements. Plus, this subject keeps coming up. Like I'm getting, I get bombarded every day. A couple thousand DMs and snaps. This is the most common theme. How do you make more money? How do you increase your income? The average person in the world, I was looking on the website, the IRS's website. I think the average, the average household, so like a husband and a wife or whatever together, is doing let's say 50,000. But then you subtract taxes, average, so now it's a couple, two people working on average. Let's say after taxes, payroll taxes, insurance gets taken out, you're down to like 35,000. You got rent, that's like, let's say, I don't know, 12,000 a year or mortgage. That's low too. I mean, people just end up running out of money. So this talk is for you if you never want to run out of money. And I'm gonna give you some actual practical things you can do. Like you're gonna be able to, so, so if you have a pen and paper, that will be good because I'm gonna lay out a formula that I started showing people, a small test group of people in 2016, was it? Yeah, 2016. And it worked like crazy. Like it create, I don't know how many millionaires I need to count. Uh, the first person who got in the first day, millionaire now. And uh, I'm not sure if he's a multimillionaire, but I know he's a millionaire. What is that? YouTube. YouTube, yes. Periscope. But look at my, the YouTube video. That's like something else. That's me at the end. <laughs> um, anyway, so, um, yeah, Zach was over here doing the wrong thing. They just ain't enough money left. And so I started showing this formula, started creating millionaires, started creating people. Not everyone became a millionaire, obviously. Most people aren't going to be a millionaire realistically in life, but a lot of people started making double the income, started making an extra thousand bucks a month, 10,000. Some went into high and mid six figures, you know what I mean? So like, I'm not going to promise you an exact dollar amount, but I'll tell you this, most people's direction is down. They like start with 50, and by the way, the rate of the average bonus in the world is 3% a year. So it only goes up at about 3%. If you get a job, average job is 3% raise per year. If you do the math on that, that means every 25 years approximately, you, have double, you make double the income. So the average person is taking 20 to 25 years. That's kind of depressing to double from 50,000 to 100K. So if you go the old school way, it'll work. You will make more money, but you know, you're talking about a solid it's gonna take you a solid 20 years. And if you're lucky, you could do it in 10 or 15. But this formula I've been showing people has been working in under a year. Can you pull up the Facebook one again, Zach? Yeah. It froze. All right, so let's real quick, since we're live, we're live on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and maybe my website, I'm not sure. At least four places. What questions? Let's just put a little quick survey. What's the average income of the person here? Put your age and income. Age and income and city. Age, income, city. Give me three things so I know how to, to talk since this is live. What do we got? Age, income, and uh, what city you're in, just so I know. Somebody's asking about Bitcoin. Will it rise? I think so. Okay, Ivy on Instagram says she's 24, she's making 250 grand, lives in Santa, Santa Barbara. Peter Mosito, 24, making 50 grand in Vegas. Brian making tw 20, is 22, making 70,000. San Fran, Twitter, what do we got? New Money Merit, making 25, is 25, making $14,000 a year in Philly. DSID 19 is making 38, is 38, making 55,000 in Fresno. What we got on YouTube? Dennis Bell, 28 years old, 2,000, I guess, a month in Dallas. Try to put how much you're making per year. Jates Punjabi is in India, Mumbai. I've been there before. It's a long plane ride, boy. Kirby's 37, making 40 grand a year in Raleigh. Let's see on Facebook. 
Here we go. Aaron Borden's making 400,000 at age 43 in Olympia, Washington. 35,000 Alexander in Montreal. So I see we got all over the world here. We got all age, right? 30, uh, sorry, 60 years old in the Philippines, no income, unemployed. So man, this world, as you can see, now I'll just show you one thing. I don't know if most people don't know this, but if you figure out how to make $450,000 a year, like profit or your income, your taxable income, $450,000, that means you're in the 99.99 percentile of the world. Even more, I'm under-exaggerating. So like, if you figure out how to, that's why some people are like, Ty, how do I make 10 million? I had a seminar in my house. People paid 2,500 bucks to come for the day to my house. I can hold about 400 people on my bas or 200 people came this time uh, in my basketball court. We put up a tent. And I was just asking people like, what's your income goals? Who's happy with making 100,000? And a few people raised their hand. Who's happy with making 500,000? And then a million, and then some, one guy, this one young kid's like, only if I'm making $10 million a year. So I was like, look, man, that's fine. You can try, and that's okay. But sometimes you get bored of making money, you'll see, and you want to do other things like go travel, work out, raise kids, play video games. I don't know what people do nowadays, but um, so 900, so 99.99 percentile is pretty good. Now I've gone through this. I've I've made like, you know, I've been over, I've been on all sides of this thing. So I've you know made a thousand dollars a year, and then I've figured out you know how to make thousand dollars a minute. I've done that before. I've made you know zero dollars, and I've made a million dollars in one day before. I wish I did that more often, but I've done it a few times. A million, I've done a million in an hour before. And I've done a million in a day or two, stuff like that. So like, you might be over here, you're making a thousand a year. There are people making a thousand bucks a minute. And it's not just people who inherit money. It's not just people who, you know, like 20 years ago, you would have thought what I was saying is a scam and some people still do, but just read the news. You know, the Snapchat guy became a billionaire at 22 or 3. Never before in history, literally, before the, the turn of the century, the 2000, you know, we're in the 2000 century, right? Before that, there was no young billionaires. The youngest 20 years ago, 30 years ago, was like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, but they were like 30. I think Bill Gates was 31 before he was a billionaire. So in the past, you either inherited money or it took a long time. Bill Gates started at 12, at age 31, 19 years later, he's a billionaire. Warren Buffett, who is now the second or third richest man in the world, he started reading about investing at age seven. He was a billionaire, I think, at age 50, 43 years. And, but now, look, just look at Instagram. You see people become Insta-famous and they become multi-multi-millionaires um, seemingly overnight. Not really overnight, but in a year or two or whatever. Kylie Jenner built the fastest growing company in history, 430 million in sales in 18 months with no investors. Nobody's ever done that in her makeup line. She did it faster than Maybelline, faster than Revlon, faster than big co cosmetic companies. So what I'm trying to say is this is possible. You just gotta find where you wanna be on here. Now, let's talk about a real specific plan. Because sometimes people get overwhelmed. They're like, should I quit my job? Should I open a restaurant? Should I invest in real estate? Should I invest in gold? Should I invest in Bitcoin? Should I trade stocks, day trade, like all this stuff? So there are many ways to do it. Ideally, each of you over time, this is the ideal formula. This is what they should have taught you in school. I'm gonna draw this right now. Ideal formula, okay? Right here. I'm gonna put it right here. Your ideal formula, I'm going to draw it as easier than writing it out. Okay?
That right there is the E equals MC squared of finances, if you ask me, okay? This is it. This is what I plan for myself. Like Albert Einstein came up with a theory of relativity. Energy equals the mass times the constant squared equals MC squared. This is financial independence formula right here. By the way, you'll never see this anywhere else because I've never actually drawn this out like this, but I'll do it for you guys. So, so. Okay, 1A, 2A, 3A to 1P, 2P, and that's your lifestyle that you want. That's the ideal lifestyle. So that's like not the sad, depressed, lonely, broke, bored, burnout, stressed one. This is like the star represents like life's good, okay? So what does one, what does A stand for? It stands for active, active, okay? So you have three forms of active income, three sources. One source, two source, three source. Ideally, they're diversified so that if this one goes down because there's a recession, this one doesn't get affected. <coughs> and this one even goes up. Some businesses, some income streams are opposite. They call them inversely correlated. But you can just use a simple word. They're opposite. They move opposite. So that if 2008, remember the big recession where people lost their houses? Some things got better. So if you had some income, some businesses, some jobs, some careers in 2008 went up. Just think about it, it's common sense. Lawyers went up. Lawyers got more work because everybody started suing each other. Foreclosure companies, you know. Apartments went up because people got kicked out of their house and now they had to rent a place they couldn't afford. Um, credit repair companies went up, right? All kinds of things. So you have 1A, 2A, 3A, and I'll put a little star here. I C. That stands for inversely correlated. That's what that means. So you have three active income sources that are somewhat inversely correlated. They feed money into your 1P, which is a small passive income source, 2P, a larger active, uh, sorry, passive. The P stands for passive income. And then the passive income spits off cash to you, and that's what you use to live your life. This one right here makes money while you sleep. Makes money while you sleep. And this, these three, you have to actually put in time and energy. Over time, if you do this right, these active ones, eventually, these disappear, and you just have these, at least these two. And you just live off this. You know, that you don't need to retire right away. Like, life gets boring. You always want to do something. Like, if you ask me, I'm always trying to do something. So, one active income, this could be your career. I don't know what you do. You work at Starbucks, you got a nine to five job, whatever it is. Number two could be a part time business. You could be selling on Amazon. You could sell a product on Amazon. You could be doing a dog walking business. You could be driving Uber. You could be, um, you know, a great one is landscaping company. You don't even have to do the work. You organize the labor. I had a guy, Basil Camus, he, used to, he worked for me. I trained him when he was, after he graduated, he graduated Duke at age 22, came out to LA for North Carolina, worked for me for a year, and went back and started a company in Raleigh, North Carolina called, I think it's called Raleigh Leaf and Limb. I think he makes two million bucks a year now. He doesn't actually go cut, you know, he, it's just a simple business. Simple, man. I had a guy at my house, it's a simple business, fences. He has like 10 guys who build fences, people who want fences around their house for their dogs. He builds it for them, $10 million he made. Gross, he's netting like one or two million bucks a year. Okay, so that's an that's a active, you could have a career and that, and then when one gets big, you could get rid of the career and you could do this. And then 3A can be things um, can just be another product. You know, if you have a fencing business, like I know these guys that are doing t-shirt business and they're making about a million dollars a month, $12 million, and they're doing t-shirts around one lifestyle. I said, why don't you just make another different product, but instead of t-shirts, why don't you sell, I don't know, 
I know oh, there's a guy following him. He started selling shoes online, drop shipping them from China, high heels or something like that. And he's, he went from making zero dollars. He was over at my house. I did. A, he was at my 300 group. He's one of my 300. Every year, I'm trying to document at least 300 people that I fly out. They come to LA. I meet them that have that have gone from rags to riches. And he's making like 300,000 net a month selling shoes. So that could be just a different. So three sources, not one. 90% of the world has one source of income. So when you put all your eggs in one basket, somebody steals the basket, you're sad. If you get laid off from work, a recession comes, they're gonna cut you. You know, if you have only one company that you've started, things can change, that's just how this goes. Now, you go into 1P, 2P. 1P is, uh, for example, you could have some of your money in, the, in 401k stock market, that's one thing. You could invest, I like real estate right here for the 2P. Real estate can also be over here. If you're actively flipping homes, real estate is right here. We met a test group in 2016. Last two years, me and a guy named Cole have been training people how to flip real estate. And um, again, another guy, if you watch my YouTube videos, I post these videos of these guys, they're not actors. One guy's first month made 30,000. He didn't even own the house, he flipped the wholesale contract. So. This can be here or here. If you do real estate where you just buy it and rent it out, that's more passive. You don't have to do that much work because you can use a property management company. So you take the income from these, the profit, you then invest it in one more place, which can be a little bit in the stock market. You, if you like cryptocurrency, you could put a Bitcoin there. I like real estate for 2P. Why? Well, real estate's created the most millionaires in the world. We have 7.5 billion people in the world. There's going to be probably 8 to 10 billion very soon, which means people need more places to live. And there's limited real estate. I doubt the whole world's going to move to Mars like Elon Musk is planning, but maybe they will. But I'll, I'll bet my money that real estate on planet Earth is going to be real good for a long time if you know how to do it. You can still make mistakes and get ripped off, but if you know how to do it, you know, you'll be all right. So three inversely, two passive. Then you just take, you just pay yourself from the V's. This forces you to have the discipline. Take all your profit, put it into the passive investment. Write this down on a piece of paper right now. Maybe one day you'll own the whole block that you live on right now. What's today's date for you? I know some of you in different time zones in London. Write down today's date. One day you might own a whole block of a city. Real estate. You rent it out to people, you know? You'll thank me one day if you actually stick with it and listen to what I'm saying, you know? So, okay, questions on this before I move, because I want to give you an idea. Most people, you can have a career here. Most people have a career, okay? Then I would do my primary entrepreneurial venture. We'll just put entrepreneur. And then you could do a smaller active income. So I'll give you, an, I want to focus the rest of this time because I got to go in a little while. I want to focus on some idea. You already know like a career, whatever, you probably already got some job, Starbucks or engineer, tech, whatever. So I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on right here, primary entrepreneurial venture that you can do part or full time. I'm going to show you one that you can make one to $10,000 a month, one to 10K a month right there, part-time or full-time. Obviously, if you do it full-time, you'll probably make more revenue. Okay, so, <laughs> anti Kyle, anti Kyle 2.0 on YouTube said he wouldn't want to buy the block he lives on. You don't have to live there. <laughs> you know, most landlords don't live where they own, so. I'm not saying you want to buy, I mean, and I'm also not saying you want to become a landlord that takes advantage of people and, you know, takes advantage of poor people. No, you can be a good landlord. You can have good housing for people. You do them a favor. You don't have to apologize for that. Somebody's going to own the real estate. Not everybody can. You can do it and you can take care of people and help people and get paid at the same time. It's a good deal. It's called a win-win situation. Most of the world is win-lose. Somebody loses when somebody wins. But Okay, what's this formula? So, by the way, if you're watching this, 
this is my announcement. You got one week that I'm going to be doing a partial scholarship. I'll talk about it later. I'm just mentioning it now. One week to get in. I'm, going to, I'm doing another test group for this. So if you want me to, me and my team to mentor you for the next um, four months, we will on this idea here. Or you can just try it on your own. Okay? Somebody said, J. Cole's former landlord Lord will be me in six months. What the hell does that mean? Is that some code? Sounds like a J. Cole lyrics. J. Cole <laughs> rap song. I will be J. Cole's ex-landlord. Okay, so what is the best idea you can do from scratch right now to start making money? Even if you don't have an office, even if you don't have employees, even if you don't know what you're doing really. If, all, if only thing you have is an iPhone or a laptop, I'm gonna show you how to make one to 10,000 a month and it ain't a scam. And I put, already trained 30,000 people in 90 countries how to do this. If anybody thinks this is a scam, I will embarrass you. You can come here live and I will just bombard you with hundreds of people, hundreds more. I have on my phone 800 testimonials. That's just people who took the time to write out their story. There's thousands of people. Now, out of 30,000 people, not everybody started making one to 10 grand because let's be honest, did you know that the average person, when they buy a book, most people don't get past the first page. You know that? So it's the same with when I start mentoring and training people, the average person shows up one time and never shows up again. And then they come back four months later and go, oh, it didn't work for me. I'm like, well, <laughs> hello. That's like you're working out with The Rock or Vin Diesel at the gym. He's like, come work out with me for four months. I'm gonna help you cut weight and gain muscle. And you show up at the gym once. Four months later, you come back and go, hey, Rock, I don't look like you. He'll be like, bro, you, 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 get, out, you get out what you put in. So for the people who actually put in and paid attention to what I'm about to teach you, I'm gonna give you a short version, not the four month version. Um, it worked. It worked, and it worked for a lot of people crazy. Like, I'll just show you this. I'm just gonna literally randomly pull up. I keep this thing in my WhatsApp group. I don't know if you can see these. So here's te top testimonials. We just call it SMMA, top testimonials. This way? There? Okay, so let me just read. These are literally, I didn't put these in order. You can see, okay. I wanna read, this is such a cool one. <laughs> I have a, because I have a private Facebook group, Brody OSC Norris. You can contact them on Facebook, Brody OSC Norris. I don't know what OSC stands for, maybe it's his middle name. He said he brought in $100,000 in revenue today. How your, how's your Friday going? That was last Friday. That's kind of cool. Dominique Rodriguez, received second payment from my happy client and wanted to share this with the group. You received a $9,000 PayPal, right there. Can't argue with screenshots, you know what I'm saying? Dominique Rodriguez, Alex Garcia. I'm just scrolling, I have not looked at these. I've been signed for way too long and I'll provide this group with as much value as I can. Like I said, I have a private Facebook group where people talk. My agency be, has been up and running for one, uh, for almost one and a half years. And we're doing $4,500 a month. So he's not, he's a young guy, looks like he's 20. He's not making a million bucks, but He's making almost five grand a month. It's not bad. All right, let's keep going. I don't want to only show you the very top ones because then people get all butthurt if they don't make a million dollars. Here's somebody just wrote checks. Jonathan Ortiz, $400 check, $250 check. Here's Hassam Khaled. I think he's in London. Back to back closings in less than the last four days, he shows his Stripe account. $3,000 in four days, it's not bad. If he keeps up roughly on that pace, he'll do you know 10,000 in a month. I think that might be pounds. Jay Aquino, 2,912 PayPal to him. All right, look at this one. This is a good one. Augustine Colchado. Again, if you can see his picture, you can find him on Facebook. I'm happy for you guys to talk to these people. You can learn from them too. $35,476. He goes, here's a video I did of, of on April of my monthly sales on my 
So he did $35,476. How about this one? Scott Flyer Hilsey. He looks like he's Dutch or something. The internet is hilarious, man. This is all, all me. Oh, this is the guy that was at the house. $111,000. And I think that's in, yeah, that's in the last three months. He's doing, here you can see, 29000 a month. So this stuff is working. Here's somebody sent an email. Chris Hayes, CEO and founder of Pinpoint Marketing. Landed my first client thanks to you and the knowledge you provided. The guy literally paid for all. This is a cool one. This happened to one of my first students, Jaden. He goes, the guy literally paid for a whole year up front, so I'm sitting on an $18,000 check. I'm not just sure if you'll get around to seeing this, Ty, but I just want to extend my thanks. This dude, one week had nothing. I don't know how much money he had, but the next week he had an $18,000 check to cash. And I can tell you, even though now, I mean, look, now my business is if I don't make 100 grand a day, I'd be very depressed. But I remember starting out where an $18,000 check would have blown my mind. Because now I got more expenses. You know what I'm saying? It's good to be, when you just start out, you don't have to make as much. Because at the beginning, you don't have as much expenses. You don't have enough staff. You don't have, you always build up expenses over time. So, like I said, I'm trying to make one to $300,000 a day because I, gotta, I spend $50,000 a day, you know, on marketing, staff, and all that. So when he makes 18,000 from his first client in a technique I'm gonna show you, he doesn't have any costs. So that's, that's a lot of money. What, do you, what can you do? What, let me just do this. A little mental game, because you gotta be able to have the mindset before you put in work or else you'll procrastinate. What would you do right now with a check for 18,000? What would you do with it? Would you give it to charity? Would you pay off college debts? Would you go on a trip? Would you buy? 10 pairs of Yeezys, like what would you do? What do we got? <sighs> Pay off debt. What kind of debt? How much debt you got? Invest. Who here, you could use $18,000, you could buy your first piece of real estate, fix it up, flip that thing, turn 18,000 into 36,000, if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll turn 18,000 into zero, but <laughs> Spartan Xavier on YouTube said he'd buy a house for his parents. Tree Arable said he put it down for three different investment houses, uh, properties. Pay off debts and invest back in my new biz, Jeff Herbert. Cozy Lord is honest. He said he'd save some, but he'd also go shopping. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I recommend you use a little bit of the money that you make always to reward yourself. Don't just, you know, don't just put money away. You need to have that mental reward, you know? So, all right. All right. So what is this formula? It's simple. This is what you do. I'm going to map it out. Now, remember this. This is the complete formula. I already talked about this. So, but I got to show you each component, how to do them. So I'm showing you how to do this one. All I got time today is just to show you this. I don't have time to do this and this. And I hope you know what a career is. That's what you learn in the school system. The school system teaches you that one. That's what's messed up about the school system. As you can see here, I've clearly shown there's one, two, three, four, five, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five components of financial freedom. They only give you one. So why do you think everybody's broke? It's like if you give somebody a shovel, but it's just the handle and it doesn't have the, the shovel at the end. So school gives you one little part and just goes, go survive and everybody's having a heart attack every month because they're broke, okay? So let's talk about what, you know how to do this. I'm gonna tell you how to do this. The school system, your parents and community paid about $200,000 if you live in the US in tax dollars for you to get your elementary, junior high, and high school uh, education. Do you think you got your money worth? <laughs> they should have just given people the 250 grand. You'd be a millionaire to retire. Um, so this is what I would do. Right here. This is the formula for 2A. 
your second active income source. This is, I think, this is the best one I know for the masses to use, meaning this pretty much works for everybody in every city, in every country of almost every age. It's ain't gonna work for you if you're five or something. And it may not work if you're 98 in a rocker, uh, you know, in a, in a walker or a rocker, I guess. But this will work male, female, black, Spanish, white. Works in London, it works in Australia. I just had a kid here, 17, flew, I uh, flew here from Melbourne, Australia. He's making 17,000 a month Australian. That's about 12,000, I think, US. He's 17, the dude ain't out of high school. He's making more than all his teachers. So that works in Australia. It'll work in Asia, Africa. I can't think of a place. You may need to adjust it a little bit. South America for sure. So here's what you, I got a guy, one of my top performing people in this system right here. I'm teaching you a system, by the way. The only system you learned growing up was the system of nine to five job. That's a system, meaning it's complete A to Z. You go to high school, you go to college, you get a bachelor's, you do a job interview, you show up, you do, you have HR benefits, insurance, like all that. That's a system, it's a complete thing. So I'm gonna show you a different system well, what I said is, here's what you do. You go, you are surrounded by businesses. Okay, trust me. I don't, everywhere in the world, even little communities, you got a pizza place, you got a grocery store. There's insane amount of businesses all around you. So let's just say within 25 miles of you, you can start this way. Eventually you can expand and go global if you want. You go within 25 miles, there's probably at least 100 businesses, okay? And that's not counting internet businesses. I'm talking about physical businesses. You can also go after internet businesses too. So there's 100 businesses within 25 miles of you. I'm counting dentists, doctor's office, construction companies, landscaping, realtors. There's more than 100, but let's just say where I live here in LA, within 20 miles, there's at least 100,000 businesses. But I'm just doing this for everybody, no matter where you live. So you go to them, what's their number one problem? If you ask a dentist, a doctor, if you ask a restaurant, you ask a sushi place, you ask number one thing, you go, what do you wish you had more of? They go, customers. We want more customers. Pizza place, you go to the average pizza place, it's like half full. Not every table's taken. Those, every business person wants every possible customer they can there all the time. So they want customers, paying customers. So all you do is say, yo, I know how to get you paying customers. And I charge one to $10,000 a month to do it for you. And out of every seven of those businesses you talk to, if you, I have a script that I give people. Um, I train them for four months. After seven, uh, every seven people you talk to, on average, one will say sure and write you a check for one. I recommend 1,000, 2,500, 5,000, or 10,000. And here's the crazy thing on recurring, meaning it automatically rebills them every month, every 30 days. Okay? So you go here, you say for one to $10,000 a month, I'll get you more paying customers you get one customer, let's say for 2,500 bucks. Now you're at $2,500 a month, as long as you can keep that customer happy. The next month you get one more. Let's say you land a big one, 5,000. Now you're at 7,500 a month. That doesn't always happen. Maybe you land a little one, 1,000. So you're at 3,500. You just keep doing this step by step in 18 months. I know people in 18 months, they're basically retiring. It's insane. One guy uh, that was here, I don't know if you remember on my Snapchat about six months ago, you know what this dude did? He followed my exact formula, my scripts, he got in my test group that I did in 2016. He was one of the first of 30,000 people that went in. He goes in there, he learns it all, he builds a company that's making, I don't know, 100 or $200,000 a year. He sells it for 400,000. Somebody bought his marketing agency, because this is a marketing agency that you build to solve a problem for businesses. And guess what? He took the 400,000. This is in Australia, he's an Australian kid. He bought, this guy's 25 or less. 
he bought a four hundred thousand. He took all the money. I wouldn't have done it this way, but he hadn't taken my real estate course. I would have showed him how to do it better, but he did it pretty good. He took the four hundred thousand. He bought this house somewhere in Melbourne historical area that he's now renovating. It's worth seven hundred thousand. So now he doesn't quite have a million bucks, but in Australia. The dude's 25, he got 700,000. He, I'm like, I met him walking down the street. He came up to me. I was eating in Melbourne and he goes, uh, yeah, I'm like bored. I'm like, why? He's like, well, I did what you said. I built an agency. I sold it to another agency, bought me out for 400,000. I bought this place. Now it's worth 700,000. And he's literally like, isn't that a good problem to have? You're bored because you, money's not a problem anymore. I hope each of you, you know, have that problem um, that you're just like, you know what, Ty, I'm just bored because I got so much money. So that's what this guy is. He's not a billionaire. He's not Mark Zuckerberg, but he has 700000 and he has it in real real estate. That's, that ain't bad, right? So here's what you do. Somebody asked the important question. I see this on YouTube. Somebody goes, but how do you get them? The pay? How do you get the businesses the paying customer? It's all this doesn't work if you can't get businesses paying customers. It doesn't work. So don't just think you can just do this without any training. I mean, you can. This guy says 700K isn't enough to relax. It is if you're 23 and you have zero expenses. What's your budget, dude? This guy's like 700,000. I know this, if I'd have been 23 with 700 grand, and remember, he has it in real estate, so the real estate's worth 700 grand. Plus, it's spitting off monthly income. That's freedom right there. A lot of you are slaves. You're what I call salary slaves. You're lifestyle slaves, you know? Like everything sucks. Modern, slavery exists literally still in the world. People are still, I'm reading a book that won a, a Pulitzer Prize on slavery, the slave trade in the 1600s in New England. But man, there's a whole nother kind of slavery as nobody's talking about, which is you hate what you're doing. Having a job is not slavery. So you can have a nine to five that you like a lot. Some people love their life, but I'm saying at least 80% of people in most surveys say they hate their job. So 80% of people are basically slaves. So this guy has 700 grand. At 23, if you invest that right, by the time he's 30, he should have 2 million. Plus, he had enough to live on. He should, that should go in seven years. If he grows it at about 10% a year, it will it at least should have 1.5 million, depending on how much he takes out of it. I mean, you can say that guy isn't doing great, but to me, he is for his age. You got to age adjust it, by the way. So, here, how do you, let's get into this. I got to go in about half an hour. So, I'm gonna try to just go through this as fast as I can. How do you get them paying customers? Easy. You open a, you start your own social media marketing agency. I call it for short, I came up with this term, SMMA. I'm just gonna do that so I don't have to say the four words. SMMA, you start your own SMMA out of your house. Okay? You start it out of your house. You take your iPhone and you start the business. Now, what do you do? Okay. You go to businesses, you make a list. A really good place is restaurants, dentists, or doctors. Okay. That's a really good place to start because restaurants, bars, dentists, doctors. There's more, but let's just start with that. Restaurants are good because they have a building that they pay rent on and they got all these tables empty and they don't want them empty. They need a lot of people going through the tables, okay? Bars, what's good about a bar? Same thing. And bars are rarely full. Like they get hot for a while, then they get cold. Dentists are good because they charge a pretty high price. So every one, and people are loyal to their dentist. So you bring them one customer this month, They'll probably be their customer for 10 years, so they get like 10 cleanings out of it. So one customer is worth 10,000 bucks or more to them. And then doctors, like especially cosmetic surgeons and stuff, same thing. One 
cosmetic surgeon customer you bring them can make them ten to twenty thousand dollars so that that's it right there you go after this list we have a script and basically the script is pretty simple I'll give you like the overview of it you go to them and you say hey I went on your website and I noticed your social media you have a only like 10 followers or you get like 10 likes on your Instagram or I notice you don't have a Facebook page. We live in the world of social media. That's where people get, that's how you get customers, the internet. So you say to them, listen, I specialize in building your social media, in creating Facebook ads, Google ads for you, targeting your ideal customer and I have them show up at your door. And with restaurants, you can do things like coupons. A restaurant creates a coupon. You advertise the coupon on Facebook. On Facebook, you can target local people, okay? And next thing you do, you get people coming in to that restaurant and the owner's like, holy crap, I'm paying this person $1,000 a month or $5,000 a month and I'm making an extra $50,000 a month. They're gonna love you forever. They're not gonna cancel you. Does that make sense? So this is a huge opportunity. And I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna warn you this. I warned people this in 2016. It's been many, it's been multiple years. I said this eventually is gonna stop working because once I train a certain amount of people, I don't know what that is. It's gonna be a saturated market. It's not yet saturated, but it, is, it would have been better to get in 2016. You could still make a lot of money in it, don't get me wrong, but it was a little easier in 2016. Next year, gonna be a little bit harder. And most trends last five to seven years. So you got a year or two that you need to be built. So you got to start today because it's going to take you about 18 months to build this. But I will tell you, the most surprising thing known to mankind for me was people started getting results in a day or two. Okay? Somebody said, is this crazy competitive? No, you're on plan. If somebody thinks this is oversaturated, they know nothing. Because here's why. There's approximately 50 million businesses in the world, okay? There's 20 million in the United States. 20 million, let me repeat that, 20 million businesses. I've only trained 30,000 people. Out of that 30,000, only like 10% of them actually put the work in. That's how life is. 90% of people are lazy, 10% of people. So I've only, only like probably out of those 30,000, about 3,000 of them are actually doing an agency. You think 3,000 agents, and the average agency has like five clients. So 3,000 times five clients is 150,000 businesses, right? I'm sorry, 15,000 businesses. 15,000 out of 20 million. And every year, businesses more and more realize they need to go on the internet. So basically, you come in with the script, and here's what you say to them. You, you say a little bit of what I just said about how the internet's the future, then you say, I looked at your website, I noticed your, I used Google speed test analysis, that's a free tool that you can run before you talk to them. I noticed your site gets an F score. I noticed you don't have Google Analytics. I noticed you don't have the Facebook retargeting pixel. I'll teach you all this stuff that you just tell them and they're like blown away, like who is this person? And then you say, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. So you come in and you fix, a pro you identify a problem that's specific. Don't just say, oh, I can make it better. You go, I noticed you don't have a Facebook page, Mr. Dentist. I noticed you don't have an email list. That is something, if you build, help companies get better at email, man, my email, I make, on my email list, I make anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000 a day on average from my email list. Most businesses are lazy. I learned that when I owned nightclubs in North Carolina more than a decade ago. I would collect everybody's email. I go to nightclubs in LA and Vegas. They don't collect emails. I'm like, are you insane? You know how many people go through these clubs? So you teach people how to collect emails and then you, you send the email once a week for the dentist or once a month or whatever and you can do all kinds of stuff. You can send coupons. You can send referral. Refer a friend. The next thing you know, You've identified a problem, you've fixed it, and now you can upgrade your fee. You can go from charging 1,000 and you just say, 
my first one of my first students, Jaden Gross, who made 1.2 million doing this his first year. He never had a bank account before. He now raised his minimum rate is five thousand dollars. So you can keep upgrading on customers, even if you lose a few customers, you do a better work for them. It's literally that simple. What I'm trying to tell you. This is a golden formula of increasing your income today, this year, this week. The only thing about this, let's talk about the bad things, because I don't want to. I don't want to paint this as a. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It doesn't automatically work. You don't just press. Like sometimes online, there's things like, just press this one button and you'll automatically start making money. Okay, that's not how it works. But this is easier than people think. That's what I'm going to tell you. This is easier than you think. I repeat, this is easier than you think. What'd you say? Zach wants to hear it one more time. I'm working on a new whey protein company, by the way. I've got a hemp protein company now, but I'm working on whey. Um, see, that's another source of income. I have right here, I have about 30 here, 30 sources of active income. Some of them generate $100 a day. Some of them generate $50,000 a day. But I have a diversified income. This whey protein is another one. I'll teach you guys how to do stuff like that later. I'm not talking. You got to get your first one. You got to get your first one. This SMMA concept works better than anything. I would put money that the rate of people doing this to the rate of people making money would be anything I've ever seen in the world. Except with the exception of if you get a medical degree. If you get a 12 if you get a medical degree 99% of doctors are employed, but it also takes 12 years. So that's not a fair apples to apples comparison. Nothing. This is better than real estate for most people, but you should still do real estate. This is a better place to start. This is better than drop shipping and e-commerce, even though you should learn how to do drop shipping and e-commerce. Uh, this is better than getting an art history degree at Azusa Pacific or some community college. This is like this thing works. It works fast, and you don't need any cash to start. You can start this for a dollar. All you, in fact, you probably own all the equipment you need. I do almost everything now on my phone, man. I don't even use my laptop anymore. Once in a while, I'd say I use my laptop about I don't know twenty minutes a day maximum. Is age ever an? Issue concerning the creation and management of SMMA. Hey, how much time do I have left on Instagram? Oh, there we go. The good thing about this, if you're young watching this, there's one thing businesses will trust you with. That's their social media and internet. So if you're 18 and you walk into it, there's a kid. I, I played in a celebrity basketball game. DeMar DeRozan. Uh, it was for... Um, And when I was there, a kid comes up to me in the audience while I'm coaching this celebrity basketball game, and he goes, uh, hey, I just signed like 18 pizza franchises, like Little Caesars. He got 18 Little Caesars. One guy owned a whole bunch of, I think it was Little Caesar or Domino's franchises, and he got like, it's a th- the guy's paying him like $1,000 per store or something. So he has one contract. Maybe, was, maybe he gave him a discount, $500. Somebody happened at all. What happened to the audio? That's what I'm checking right now. It's just Twitter. No, it's not. It's everywhere, for sure. Hold on. We got levels here. Is it a battery? You guys hear uh, Well, I don't know, but let's swap you out real quick. I'm going to swap out my microphone. What happened? I'm not sure. I'll check this out. But it's red. Yo, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Did you switch the audio input or whatever? No, that one was switched. That's red. Yeah, I'm not sure why. 
battery's dead. Now I think people can hear me. What's the last thing you guys heard me say? Someone said, God damn it, Zach. People are mad at you. Okay, way better. Microphone. All right, back to this. Just testing to see who's paying attention out here. Zach's uh, a Leo. Leos don't always, don't always pay attention to details. No, but you're the first one to jump up to fix a problem you started. Okay. What is the last thing anybody heard me say? Oh, celebrity basketball game. So I was saying, somebody asked me about age. If, what if you're young, can you do this? And I was saying I coached this basketball team, a game for Trevor Reese's team, and a guy in the crowd comes up to me. I wouldn't say, I don't know his age, but he's between 18 and 22. And he goes, um, Ty, I just signed, one guy owns like 18 Little Caesars pizza franchises in California, and I got him to pay me like 500 or 1,000 per store. So he gets like nine to $18,000 a month just to do his, uh, just to do his freaking um, social media for all the Little Caesars that the guy owns. Now, if you're older, this is great because people are already gonna trust you that you know what you're doing when you're older. So I don't think the age thing matters really. If you're 13, if you're 13, just find a business partner that's a little older. Maybe your uncle or your mom or your dad or something. But yeah, I mean the average age of people doing this is younger than the average business, although there's plenty of people. I mean, there's top people. I'd say the average person's like 27, but there's plenty of 18 year olds. Definitely, there's people under 18. Like I said, this one guy in Australia is making 17,000. Ah, sorry, uh, 12,000 US at 17. This is a gold mine. Now, somebody said, what's the cons? What's bad about this? Let me do one thing before I say that. Here's what I'm gonna do. So I got this test group that I did in 2016. And then we took it offline. And then we brought it back on the line, but we had the price higher because I didn't want to get it saturated. So the price has been a little, for the last, I don't know, year, it's been pretty high for people. So not, just because I've only wanted people to get in who are really into it. But I'm gonna do a partial scholarship for the next seven days. And, and this is very important, I can only do this for about 400 people because that's all that fit in my house. Never done this before. If you get into the test group where I'm gonna train you in this, do online training, for the next four months, it's a four month training program. You pay to get in it, just like you pay to go to college or you pay for a Subway sandwich. Some people are like, why do you have to pay? I'm like, well, you pay for everything else. You pay for education, right? So this is just faster, less expensive than college and it's proven to work, okay? It's not just theory. If you get in now, I got 400 tickets to come to my house next month. Okay? Normally I charge $2,500 for that. So not only are you gonna get the four month online training that you can watch on your phone or your laptop at your own, but I'm gonna actually open up my house. Assuming you're not weird, we reserve the right to kick anybody out who's some psychopath. But we're gonna do it, we'll do it either at my house, if it's a little big, I might do it at a hotel conference room right down the street. But the point is, I'll train you in person and I'm gonna bring in about four other people who have built social media marketing agencies to train you too. So not, now in the past, like I said, that's 2,500 bucks. I'm going to throw that in for free for anyone who gets in until it's full this week. And it's only open this week. So we'll close it in seven days. Uh, so let me put a link up where to go if you wanna jump in the test group, okay? Here's the good news. We have a 100% money back guarantee program. So if this goes for you, you try it, you don't think it's good, you can get your money back, okay? We have a very low refund rate, like 6% or 7%, which is really low when you offer a money back, 100% money back guarantee. So 
You go, now, if you're on Facebook, there should be a link as a pinned comment, okay? If you're on YouTube, it should be in the title or the description. You gotta go to this special link, because if you go on my website and click the button, it's, you're gonna click, the, this is a secret link, a hidden link. If you're on Twitter, it's in the title. If you're on uh, Instagram, let's pin the comment. Can you pin the comment on Instagram? If you can't find the link, just go here. I'm gonna show you how to start your own marketing agency, show you how to increase your income. Just put, just go here, that's a secret link, so to speak. Tylopez.com, that's slash market to teach you how to do marketing for businesses. Okay? Tylopez.com slash market. Um, let me see something. Bonus, oh, we got all these bonuses here. There's other bonuses. I don't feel like going through them. I should be a better salesman. I don't try to sell this that hard because now it's proven. If people don't believe in it, I'm like, okay, just don't do it. I don't care. One thing I've learned, help people that um, want to be helped, but never force somebody. Some people got to learn the hard way. Some people got to be broke for 20 years before they listen. So I'm not going to drag my quality of life. You can, you can swap it out there, Zach. Can you put it there? So if you're one of those people that you don't think this is for you, I'm not gonna spend, I do not, I spend zero time convincing people. It's stupid. That's like convincing a girl to date you. If you ever convince a girl to date you and she don't wanna date you and you're trying to convince her, you're like sending her an Excel spreadsheet of the pros and cons of dating you, you already lost that relationship, my friend. She's just some people gonna date you and some people aren't. So here's a whole bunch of bonuses. You can't even read these, I'm throwing it. So it's a four month core program. It's usually $1,000. So when you click the link, if you're on my site, there'll be a button below. You can just click the button below. Um, or you can go to tylopas.com slash market, or you can click the link on your live. If you go there, now you got a week. It might not last a week, because I'm sure I'll sell more than 400 of these which is all the people that I can fit in either my house or this conference room down the street, okay, in LA, here. So you're gonna get that, I got, we have live calls to do training, we've got a vault of all the past calls you've missed, we have a persuasion program, how do you persuade businesses, how do you get better at sales? This is a $2,000 one, I don't even know why we're giving this for free. We have one to teach you hack social media secrets. I'm gonna show you how to, look, I've hacked social media. I know how to get as many, in fact, I have the largest business social media following in the world. If you add up all my followers, I have 13 million followers. Now some have more on specific platforms, but I got a lot. I figured it, there's a formula, and I can teach you that formula, and you don't have to try to get 13 million followers or whatever, but you can do it for businesses and then they'll pay you. That's the good news. So I'm gonna teach you that. We have a private Facebook group, okay? That's a bonus, it's normally 500 bucks to get in there. By the way, these are real numbers. It's not make-believe bonus numbers. People paid 500 bucks to be in there. We got Good Life Mentor Package. This is on how to not just make money, but live the good life. So, um, and then this in-person ticket, normally is $1,500. First 400 people will get in. I've never done this before. I didn't do it in 2016, 2017, I didn't do it this year. I got a video with Jordan Belford from the, uh, a training from you know, the Wolf of Wall Street. He's a smart guy. We got Instagram. I'm gonna give you Instagram strategies. I'm gonna give you something called the Traveling CEO. I built about two years ago. It's how to travel the world while having fun and making money and get paid to travel the world. I'm gonna give you the vault, which is about 40 hours of past training that you already missed. So no, normally that's eight grand. Well, I'm gonna put, click the link, you'll see. I'm gonna discount it all the way back, but only for a week. So go to tylopas.com slash market, slash the word market, like marketing, okay? I'm gonna start reading off the names of people getting in the test group, by the way. Just, 
So, okay. Let's read some names. Resetting Instagram. Are you going to reset Instagram? Okay. Do we have a payment plan on it too? Yeah, I wrote it. it's on your Oh, so we also have, if you can't even afford the one-time payment, we have a three payment plan. You can get into this for under 200 bucks. College costs 20,000, okay? So there's your math for you. If you can't do the math, I'm not saying you shouldn't go to college, but I would try stuff that costs 200 bucks a month versus costs 2,000 or 10,000 or whatever. Some colleges are 10, uh, there's colleges that are, I just had Dr. David Buss here who used to teach at Harvard and he was like, man, Harvard Business School. He went through the curriculum. He's like, they're learning a lot of irrelevant stuff, man. That's from a former Harvard professor. 200 G's. Hi, Zach. <laughs> yeah, you can also spend 200 grand if you would like to. So, sorry, I see names of people coming in. I just didn't read them yet. Congratulations to Anthony Grover. Congratulations to Philip Ty, pa Philip Ty in Nebraska on Instagram. Welcome to the group. Congratulations to Juan Rivera. Didn't say what location you are. I don't know. I don't know why sometimes. Okay, somebody's client was declined. Card was declined in Arizona. Enter a new card or call your bank. Uh, oops, Anthony Grover, did you pay twice? Oh, no, I already read that right. Brandon Tyler did the payment plan. He's on YouTube in Georgia. Jermaine Chester, another person in Georgia. Maybe they're related. By the way, you're going to get, when you get in the program, the way it works, once you pay successfully, it goes through, you use credit card, we have 256-bit SSL encrypted page, so it's very secure. It's more secure than giving your credit card to a waitress in person who can steal your card number and write it down. We don't, I don't see your card numbers, so that's safe. For all of you hyper anxiety people that are always worried about everything, I won't see your credit card number. It's SSL encrypted, which is basically unhackable, okay? And then when you're done, you'll be receive an automatic email, which gives you a special username and password and a special link to log in and start doing the training. You can start doing the training today. You will not be able to fit. We got a lot of training in there. In fact, I almost, it's almost too much. So, okay, a ton of training. You can start today. I recommend you space it out over four months, but you can start making money this month, okay? All right, who else? Jeremy Morales, Arizona. Welcome to the group. Gautam Pandey is in India. Your card is declined. Sometimes when you're another country, it gets a tad bit weird because they don't know who the heck you are, so they're like worried. Canada, Ungat Liang. Liang. He paid the full payment. If you pay the full payment up front, you save a little bit of money. Save a couple hundred bucks. Drew Thermos on Facebook Live here in California. So we got people in India. Here we go. Anwar Abed did the full payment. Now, if you're outside the US, this is a golden opportunity and it's a golden opportunity in the US. This knows no borders, man. I'm telling you this. Trust me, you will see. And you got a 100% money back guarantee. So it's not even possible to lose. I can lose. People take advantage. We get every month some people that we can tell are taking advantage of them. We just don't let them. I mean, we give them their money back and just don't let them go back in the programs again. So don't abuse it, but if you genuinely, some people go through the program, they're like, hey, this isn't for me. We just give you the money back, you know? Okay, questions. King City Shoes, he sells a loyalty program. He started, not even sure what that means. All right. Who pays for the ads? Good question. So. You charge, you make, you charge your fee plus whatever the advertising. So if the doctor wants to spend, doctor's office or restaurant wants to spend five thousand dollars a month on marketing, you charge them six thousand minimum. You get one thousand, and the other five thousand you spend on ads. You just, it's bit, you can just use their credit card. 
if they'll give it to you or they, if they already have a Facebook account, they can give you access. But yeah, you do not spend your, your only expenses, if you do this right, are if you get so big you need to have an assistant, okay? Do all your programs work if you live in Panama? Yes. You may, now, if you live in another country, if you live in India, you're going to have to adjust the price down. You're probably not going to be able to get $1,000 a month for small businesses, but there are big, huge businesses in India and in Panama and in Europe. So you can just, you know, bounce around basically. You, you go, if, in America though, use the prices that I am teaching you. Also, you're going to get the scripts. You need the scripts. One of the most important things you're going to pay for is the step-by-step, word-for-word script to call or meet in person with businesses and get them to pay you. Okay? It's that simple. You have, we used to just tell people to learn it on their own, but then people got really burnt out and stuff. So what I said was, I'll just give you an exact script. I had Joe Soto, one of the guys teaching in there. He makes 1.2 million from his agency. And that's what he did. I, I had him, I said, Joe, put your script in there. Because I didn't want to write the script because then people will be like, well, Ty, you can get customers because you have a big social media following. I wanted it to be from someone believable for that. So, um, hold on one second. I gotta go in a few minutes. So this link will work either for one week or less, depending, once we fill this thing up, um, because I got the ticket. I'm not gonna give a trillion tick people a ticket. And I'm also not gonna do, I can't do, um, you're getting a partial scholarship, okay? I'm paying some of the fee or I'm discounting some of the fee. Just like a college gives you a scholarship. Here's the thing, if, if I do that too much for too long, it's not fair to the people who were in the program before and paid $1,000, but, when they get mad at me, I say, look, every once in a while, I've only done it once this year, I let people, I do some scholarships, and people don't get mad. I just can't do it for weeks and months at a time. This is the best way I know to double your income. Hello from France, Sarah says. Do this in France. Okay. You were asking, somebody asked me, what's the bad thing, what's bad about doing this? Can you put the other word? So here's the bad thing about this. What's the downsides? Because I don't want to just sound overly positive. What's the downsides? The downsides are, it's a service business, so you're probably, you can, it's very hard to make $10 million doing this, okay? So this is a stepping stone business if you want to make 10 million. You use this, you create money, you invest it into other things. This is the link. What? You're knocking my chair around, Zach. Wasn't sure which way I was supposed to lead. There. Oh, that way. Yeah, put it behind the chair. All right. Somebody said they can double their income by playing Monopoly. Yes, you can double your Monopoly money. Ty, I'm your follower from Brazil. Your videos are great motivators. Attila Carvalho. All right, let me read a few more people, go off. Is there any more questions about this? I will answer them before I leave or questions on anything in general. What do people want to know here? You're either supplying or consuming. Ty, will you take cash? Uh, I'd rather not people mail me cash. Like, so you should have a credit card so you can build credit, man. Double your income by passive income. Where can you find the scripts? Once you get in the program, you will get password protected login. Don't share that login. If you share the login with a whole bunch of people, it automatically locks all of you out. So don't do that because I get people cheating reselling their login to their friends. This ain't Netflix. Don't be giving your Netflix 30. This is Netflix and making money. Okay, what if I can't make it to your home? Can you just do the horse? Yes, you do not have to come to my house or, or the conference. You don't have to. So that's just an extra if you want to. 
Todd, help me out, I lost my job. I'm gonna tell you a story about, my favorite story about somebody losing their job. This one dude lost a job, true story. 2008, 2009, he then went and applied to all these jobs, got turned down. This tweet is still on Twitter. I think it was 2008, 2009, he said, I just applied to work at Yahoo. I got, I got turned down, they didn't accept me. I wonder if the future has anything for me, okay? You know who that guy was? You won't know his name, you won't recognize him, but have you ever heard of WhatsApp? His name is, I think, Brian Acton, or I don't know what his name. What's the guy, the co-founder of WhatsApp? Him and a dude, because he couldn't find a job, he started WhatsApp, and they sold it for, what was it, $18 billion? <laughs> so he literally tweeted like, life sucks right now, but maybe it'll get better. But here's the, what's his name? It was Brian Acton. Yes, Brian Acton. Google Brian Acton tweet about losing his job and not getting hired. So here's the thing. You can either whine about life, which most people do, or you can just go, well, nobody's gonna take care of me if I don't take care of myself, and just go out and do stuff on your own. And you know a lot of, you, you know something? I'm gonna talk on this for a second. Depression, anxiety, fear. A lot of people have depression. Some of it's hormonal sometimes, but some people have no, when you don't have life purpose, you get bored, you get depressed. That's why celebrities kill themselves. I mean, there's different reasons. I, I'm not an expert on suicide. Let me just, I don't wanna go down this politically complicated conversation, but I'm just gonna have a common sense one, okay? Some people kill themselves because they have an actual physical ailment. You know, they have too much, not enough dopamine or serotonin, I forget what it is. Like I said, I'm not an expert. But a lot of people have it all and then have no more challenge and purpose in life and they get depressed and then don't always kill themselves, but they get bored and they get lost and they, life sucks and they're depressed. You need a purpose. And the way you get a purpose is something like this. Just go start something, man. Have something you can show people. You know what I'm saying? Have one you can show people. And you can just say, here's something I built. Like when I started out, my first business only made $12,000 when I was 19 years old. But I had something to show. I'm like, I built something. So I had purpose in my life. Then I went and I, you know, I started a nightclub business. I had purpose. I could 2,000 people would come there. And it gave me purpose to wake up every day. And I wasn't depressed and I wasn't this because, again, I'm not oversimplifying. I'm just saying... If you lose your job, the worst thing you can do is sit around and complain about how you lost your job. I care, I promise you, nobody cares, even if they say they do. Twitter and all this stuff, so many people act like they care about you and they'll support you. And <laughs> you see this on Facebook. People will post like, oh, I don't have enough money, I lost my job. And everybody's like, you go, girl. Like people are like, oh, I'm here for you. But they ain't gonna pay your bills. At no time does that ever happen where you just post on your Instagram like, oh, life is hard. And then people go, what's your Venmo? Let me Venmo you some money. Like they'll Venmo you maybe $1. But ain't no, nobody's <laughs> paying your bills. So at the end of the day, you can make that your life purpose. You see what I'm saying? Um, that is huge. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself, woman. Take care of yourself in between man and woman, whatever the heck it is called now. Human. Take care of yourself. Financially, physically, health, wealth, love, happiness. This damn thing that I just showed you, if they had started training you this, I'm gonna train you in four months if you get in the program. If they had started training you in this when you were a freshman in high school, four years of training, each and every one of you would have double the money in your bank account. Maybe triple, maybe quadruple. Now, I'm not saying everybody in the world should do a social media marketing agency because then it would obviously be saturated, but it's not close to saturated. There's probably three to 5,000 of these in, in the world. On average, they have five customers. It's 15 to 20,000 businesses that are being serviced out of 20 million in the US and at least 50 million if you count global, at least, it's more. Because America, 20 million, doesn't even have 10% of the population. So it might be, nobody knows, it's hard to count. 
I don't know how many you count a roadside stand in Nepal as a business. I'm just saying business is big enough to pay you. There's 50 million of them. You know how many doctors, you know how many realtors there are in America? One million or more. Life insurance agents, they, they, don't need, they need customers. Help them, I'm gonna teach you what to do with them, how to create a brand story for them, how to create video marketing for them, how to start building the email list. The average business owner is 50 years old and they don't know, they're like my grandma. My grandma, if you get my, although my grandma got on Facebook, she's 100 years old. So at 100, you can do whatever you want. She doesn't care anymore. But most business owners, they're not gonna do anything. Stephen Scott Oliver says he has seven clients. Oh, by the way, if you are in my program now and you wanna just post some success stories, I just saw a few. Okay. Someone said, your grandma is very cute. Women love my grandma. She's very popular. 100 years old. Is there an age limit for the program, Nick Armstrong asked. Yes, my grandma is 100. I cap it at 100. So if you are over 100, now, if you're under 18, depending, you know, if you're emancipated, you could do stuff at 16, depending on what country. You can definitely start a business under 18. But one thing I'm gonna say, do not use your mom or dad's credit card to pay for this program without asking them. Because every freaking week, I have somebody's parents call in and be like, Bob got in your test group, my son, and I didn't tell him, and who the heck are you? And then we have to, I have to talk, my, me or my customer sort has to talk to someone's mom. Okay? I don't think there's anybody under the age of 18 named Bob. <laughs> there's no one under the age of 18 I'm named Bob? That name is kind of... Yeah, that, name, that name's like Rufus and Esther. There's, it's funny how names go in trends like that. Okay. Taught Christian Maldonado, I'm halfway through the SMMA problem. It's mind blowing. Ty is the goat. I'm not the goat. Michael Jordan's the the goat. Uh, okay. I think I'm about ready to wrap up. Let me read a few more people. Congratulate you. I wish I could congratulate all of you getting in the group, but I don't want to sit here and read names for that long. But I'll just do the ones at the top here. Michelangelo Picon, welcome to the group in Washington. I don't know if it was Washington, D.C. or Washington State. Daniel Perez, welcome to the group, did the full payment. Tate Norris did the partial payment, paying it over three time, three months. Zoe Atorodian, female, getting in. This works for men and women, exactly the same. Santino Collins on Instagram. Welcome to the group. Santino. Christian West in Virginia. Good state. I used to live there. I need to add people's age so I can know who's getting in here. Martin Johnson. Welcome to the group. Colorado. All right. Gautam Pandi. Oh, he made it through. We got our from Andhra Pradesh, India. Believe it or not, I know what state Andhra Pradesh is because I've been to Hyderabad, India, and Hyderabad is, the ca I think, the capital. Somebody said, this is pre-recorded in it, isn't it? No, it isn't Sack Menzies. So that's an interesting name, man. Sack. I feel like you may want to change your username. I never want to be called Sack. Whenever I try to write Zach, text him, it always like converts his name to Sack. I got to talk to the people over at Apple. Whoever did these autocorrect, have you ever seen when people try to say fuck and it changes it to duck? I'm like, they did that on purpose. I'm like, they're censoring the planet because nobody ever wrote duck you. Like, that's not a sentence that people wrote. So they. Look out, duck. No one ever wrote that. <laughs> Look out, duck. Delhi is the capital of India. I know, that's not what I said. I said the capital of Andhra Pradesh, which is the state of India, is Hyderabad. I've been there. Oh, and I forgot to say, at the end of the program, if you complete it, we have a qu an exam. You don't have to do this, but we certify you, or we give you a certification. It's not a college degree or anything, but um, you know. 
What the duck, somebody wrote. Uh, someone invested in a law firm. I don't even know what that means. Some people, you can't write stream of consciousness comments. You can't just write what's in the middle of your brain right now. You can't just write anchovies are good or something because like you got to give some context. No one knows what you're talking about. Will you ever come to Africa? I hope so. I've flown over Africa. I never, I've never been to Africa, but I'd like to. My friend says I should go to South Africa with him. What else? Next to the GM said, I need people like you in my life. What the duck? What's in your shake? Way. Ty, have you talked on drop shipping? Yes. Drop shipping is another alternate source of income. You should have at least three active. Remember I wrote that formula? So this is a better one to start with, but you can do drop shipping on top of this. You can do them in the other order too. I like this one. This is a more, this has more success stories than drop shipping, but e-commerce and drop shipping if you do them right, they have more potential. So less people make money, but the people who do make money in drop shipping make more than the social media marketing. But social media marketing is steady. And it's better to have steady income than income that goes up, down, 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 down you know what I mean? And there's a lot of competition in drop shipping. Which again, no reason to be discouraged. It's just different. So, all right, I think I'm good to go. I'm gonna be off here. You have one week. You have less than one week actually. So, I will talk to you guys soon. Go here. Once that group fills up, I ain't gonna have any tickets left. So, good luck out there. I hope, for those of you who don't get in the program, I hope you figure out a way. Go find a mentor, someone who's done it before, copy what they did, modify it a little bit, and uh, you'll be good. Dream Chaser said, SMA is the greatest idea. Developing Tycoon said, I have three drop shipping websites because of you. At first I hated your face, but now I love you. <laughs> or so you went through, that's, uh, you know, the way I used to, mar the way I marketed on YouTube got a lot of attention, it got a lot of hate, but over time the hate goes away and then you have face recognition, which is what you want in branding. And you see that all over the place. You see that, that's the new way to do branding. You've gotta be controversial a little bit. So you gotta have thick skin. I had to have thick skin for quite a few years to go through all the weird people. Trust me, this planet is full of the most dysfunctional people. I mean, all of us, I guess, are dysfunctional, but the internet has some whack jobs. Whack. Drop shipping is gonna go on boom because e-com is in a bubble. Yeah, they'll be drop shipping forever. You know why drop shipping and Amazon works? Why Amazon's basically the biggest company in the world and Apple? Because the store comes to your house. Who the heck, and you know why Netflix works versus video stores and Blockbuster? Because the video store comes to your house. The movie theater comes to your house. Basically making stuff come to people's house that's how you make money. Apple, this iPhone, brings like a computer that used to be on your desk right close to you. So basically bringing things in a convenient way to people makes people pay you a lot of money. So, all right, I'm gonna head out. Thanks so much for being here. Congratulations to everyone who got in the group. Thanks for listening.